Miguel Bonilla is a teacher at Mount Carmel High School. He made a video to explain what a continuous salary increment looks like versus how the salary increment freeze will affect teachers, not just for the next four years, but for the duration of their teaching years. In this example, there's a 28-year-old teacher who has 27 more years until he retires. So, it's someone who is very early in his teaching career. This teacher is on a pay scale 16.1. He earns a yearly salary of $30,171. His yearly increment stands at $1,310. When he started working at Mount Carmel, let us assume he started working there last year, his starting salary was $30,171. As the year went by, he should have, in a normal year, increased his salary to $31,000. $481, and then the subsequent year, according to the table, it would have increased again, and again, and again. Over the course of his lifetime, he would have earned $1,292,808. A lot, right? Almost 200000 would have gone in income tax. Now, Bunny explains what a teacher's salary would look like if government's proposed four-year increment freeze is implemented. In the first year, his salary did not increase. In the second year, again, it did not increase. In the third year, again, it did not increase. In the fourth year, which the government is proposing, it did not increase. Now, let us look in the second scenario, which is the actual scenario being proposed. His earnings would have been $1,218,138. If you notice, there is a profound difference between what he should have gotten in a normal year and what he is getting for the pandemic year. According to Bonilla, this example shows how a four-year increment freeze would short this teacher over $70,000 over the duration of his teaching career. According to the government, over the four years, he should have lost approximately $5,240. However, if you minus over a lifetime what he lost, you would end up with a total of losing $74,670. So, so that is the profound economic implication of a salary freeze over four years. Reporting for News 5, I'm Andrea Polanco.